One popular interview questions candidate mess up, how do Kubernetes work and not scale? And one answer we hear a lot is, Mr. Interviewer, I'm just going to set up auto scaling group to scale my worker nodes based on certain CPU and memory utilization of the EC2. Incorrect, wrong. Kubernetes worker nodes do not scale based on specific metric of the node. This is the correct answer. Mr. Interviewer, this is how Kubernetes worker node scales. First, I will configure HPA or horizontal pod autoscaler to scale up the number of replicas based on a specific number of utilization, could be CPU, could be memory, or a custom matrix of my deployment. And as HPA increases the number of replica, the pod first goes to pending state. And then cube scheduler that's running in the control plane will look if there is any space in the available worker nodes to schedule that pod. If it is, great. This pod goes and gets scheduled in the existing worker nodes. However, if there is no space available in the worker nodes, this pod goes pending unschedulable. And this is when tools like Cluster Autoscaler or Carpenter gets triggered. So the key point here is this Cluster Autoscaler or Carpenter does not get triggered based on the EC2 utilization, but based on if a pod goes pending unschedulable. As soon as that happens, a cluster autoscaler or carpenter will spin up another EC2 worker node and then cube scheduler will schedule this pending unschedulable pod to this newly provisioned worker node. Remember, our goal is to delight the interviewer and not just meet. If you want a cloud interview guide that has been studied by many of my students to crack top tech interviews, simply comment guide in the comments and I will DM you the guide.